Thank you very much. Please sit down. Thank you very much uh, for being here for what I truly believe will be the changing of the guard of Mexican boxing from Canelo Alvarez to Jaime Munguia. My sole purpose in this promotion is to support Jaime, an undefeated, incredible talent who deserves a stage and spotlight at this point of his career. However, I would be remiss if I didn't respond to the man I used to promote. He seems to have trouble remembering who helped him become a true global star. To be clear, I have nothing but respect for Canelo Alvarez as a fighter. His record and abilities speak for themselves. But he has spent much of the last two months insulting me rather than promoting this fight. So I'll make it a little bit easier for him. Yes, I have faced a lot of challenges in my life. Yes, I've been to rehab several times. Yes, there were some really low points in my life. And yes, there were times that work was not my priority based on my mental health, which I had neglected for so long. But that doesn't change the fact that Golden Boy built Canelo Alvarez, period. The company you fought under for, for, for decades has always had one name, and it's mine. So put some fucking respect on it. As for Jaime, he has always dared to be great, just as he's this Saturday night. And this serves as a bit of a sort of full circle for him. Remember when Jaime was 21 years old, volunteered to step in against Triple G, and Canelo failed two drug tests? Though Jaime wasn't allowed to fulfill his dream, 2018, on Saturday night, he will do just that. Fulfill his dream and be world champion. Yeah, Oscar was Canelo out of pocket today? Amigos de la casa del boxeo, estamos aquí. The anime is kind of spilling over with Canelo Alvarez up on the stage there. Oscar, uh, can you react to that? I just said the truth. That's it. People don't like hearing the truth. Oscar, do you feel like you're going to make it difficult on Jaime Munguia with the comments that you made? I have been called worse. <laughs> well, Oscar, do you feel like you got... Huh? What did he say to you, Oscar? There's nothing he can say. What, what is he going to say about me? What, I'm a pussy? It's defamation. I mean, look, I, I take it very serious of what I do and how I do it. And, and my work and my company is very, very serious. For, so for him to... That, that's defamation. And you know what? I have something coming Ready? for you. Oscar, do you feel like you poked a bear, though, with Canelo Alvarez making those comments? He's been relatively calm. He looks like he was up in arms a little while ago. He looks angry. I, 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 poked, I poked an old bear. 
Hoyos there that doesn't want to fight. Oscar, esperabas esa reacción tú de de Canelo Álvarez cuando le pediste algo de respeto. Claro que que esperaba todo. Claro que esperaba. Yo creo que yo, yo creo que de esto se trata y es una pelea. No 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 va a ser una no va a ser un algo de de, de iglesia o de, no no va a ser una pelea y y este y yo creo que mira yo yo dije la verdad. Yo, yo solamente digo la verdad y es todo. El hecho de que, de que Canelo dijo que, que, que le roba a los peleadores, eso es defamación y eso no me gusta. Pero yo tomo en serio lo que yo hago, mi trabajo, yo cuido a los peleadores, les, les hago millones y millones de dólares, como se los hizo a Canelo. Y de decirme que, 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 que robo, no, eso no ¿Vas bien. a proceder? Claro. Oye, casi. Oscar, 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 their time, you know, just the way Chavez had his time, just the way uh, I had my time, just the way Pacquiao has his time, just everybody has their time. And uh, I strongly feel that the stars can be aligned on Saturday night and Jaime can take advantage of it. Oscar, what were your thoughts when he got up Sorry. on stage me, after you made those comments? He got up, started to approach you. What were your thoughts? Oh, I, I was ready. Clinched fist and all, I was ready. But uh, obviously he's not going to do anything. He's going to fight on Saturday. So but, why do you think he did that? Do you feel like it was just the natural you being on the well, skin? Well, because he can't take the truth. You know, it's like it's like a, like I've always been saying. You know, fighters like that, it's it's you know they can't have me around because you know the the, the attention is diverted off them, and he hates that. So I know how to get under his skin, you know. And so hey, it's fight week. It's game on. Shit, this is not this. Is, we're not at church, you know. We're, we're, this is a fight. Let's go. Could this affect the outcome? Do you think that helped timing? Could this affect the outcome? Yeah, when, when you're distracted in your head and you're thinking about me, I mean, it, it can be detrimental to his uh, to his uh, concentration, to, uh, you know, to his game plan. So, hopefully it worked. Oscar, could you see a scenario Oscar, where you guys ever bury the hatchet, or you think that ship is sailed and sailing? No, look, I, I'm, I'm one to always bury a hatchet, but uh, that ship has sailed. What's the blueprint? I'll tell you one thing. If there's one person in the world, okay, that I will not bury the hatchet with, it's probably him. Why? And I'm, Why? you know me, you guys know me. Yeah. I'm a nice guy. I'm, I, 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 I deal with everybody. You know what, I, even with Fernando Bar, even with Mayorga, even with you know, that's that's just who I am. But this guy, I mean, look, the shit that he said about me, about you know, about the, you know, the, 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 the drugs and the, the rehabs and okay, wow, I wasn't with you. You're getting mad because I wasn't with you when, when you fought Mayweather, your biggest fight, where you got embarrassed because I wasn't with you. Guess what? Because I was taken to rehab. And so you're, 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 you're putting your foot on my neck while I'm down, you know, and you talk shit. Okay, well, guess what? Enough is enough. And this is a perfect moment because, yes, did I get into his head? Absolutely. I mean, that's not my plan, but it's, you know, my plan is just to say the truth. That's it. You know, the, the two failed drug tests with Triple G. And then Jaime, you know, wanting, raising his hand, wanting to fight Triple G uh, instead of Canelo. I mean, look, Jaime is game for anything, to fight anybody at any time. And, uh, you know, that's why we love, we love Jaime. Oscar, what's the blueprint to beat Canelo Saturday for Jaime? I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the blueprint, but uh, I, I do know that he's walking on quicksand now. I do know that he's... His uh, injuries are catching up to him. I do know that uh, he's an old 33 years old because in boxing you can be old even at 25, depending on your depending on your your wars that you've been in. So, just like me, I was old at 30. You know, so it it, it, okay. you know, it depends on your lifestyle. Depends on you know. So it's I think Jaime Munguia's youth. I think Jaime Munguia's. I think the stars are aligned for Jaime Munguia to take advantage of this situation. Do you think Canelo is saying eight rounds? Do your comments mean... 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 Yes, it's fight week. And this is the moment. I only speak the truth. I only speak the truth. And it's what I did. And it's what I did. And it's what I did. And it's not my fault that Canelo is so curious. Conmigo y, y hablando tonterías, este, diciendo que le estoy robando a peleadores y esto y esto. 
yo no hago eso, yo, yo tomo en serio lo que hago, lo que mi compañía, mi nombre, así que esa, esa defamación es, lo, lo voy a tomar muy serio. ¿Tú Pero, crees que necesitabas tal vez inyectarle un poquito a, a la promoción por el hecho de que los dos han sido muy respetuosos y no se han dicho nada? Pues, alguien lo tiene que hacer, ¿no? Y yo creo que, mira, el Jaime está bien enfocado, está listo, está preparado y este... Mi trabajo es promover. ¿Y tú crees que esto le afecte mentalmente a Canelo y que tal vez por esto eh, sea algo que le ayude a, a Jaime el día de la pelea? No, 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 para nada. Yo ni estaba pensando eso. El Jaime está preparado, está listo, está, está más, que, más que preparado para ganar este sábado. Oscar, ¿qué pronóstico de la pelea? Sí, no, que Jaime ganando, Jaime ganando. Este, el sábado va a ser una victoria para México. Mira, y, y esta pelea yo la he pedido por jodal de tiempo, no se recuerdan que el Canelo siempre decía, pues no quiero pelear con mexicanos y esto y esto, ¿por qué no? si va a ser una fiesta grande para México pero yo tengo Jaime ganando, sí, 100% ¿No eh, eso depende en él eso depende en él, pero sí tiene las, las herramientas para, para, para noquear a Canelo Oscar, ¿no significa que no crees las historias sobre el beef, sobre el tainted beef? You said that he failed two drug tests. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The tainted beef that Canelo uh, the excuse that was used about the meat when Canelo failed the test with Clembuterol no, I just I just go by what the truth was, and that's that he f failed two drug tests. I mean, that's that's what I'm going by, and that's what happened. And uh, you know, I'm not an investigator. I'm not somebody who's gonna go and you know uh, uh, find out exactly what happened or did he take the beef or not. All I know is that on paper he failed two drug tests. Awesome. When are you coming back to Bell Beach? Where, brother? Gracias, Oscar. Oh, what's up, brother? Good to see you, Oscar. Oh man. It's just like Mayweather and Canelo, same thing. You know, Canelo got schooled and then, then he became a face of boxing, he became a good fighter. Same thing with uh, with, with Munguia, he gains experience. He didn't get schooled, but he gains experience and becomes a better fighter. So this is just the beginning for Jaime. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jaime, any final comments to fans that watch, that rooted for you? It was a valiant effort. Oh, he said, he said that he's got to come back, he's got to look stronger. And from uh, all the movies in Sanford, we have a sensational fighter in Mike and Villa. We have the face, the idol, the, the, the champion of the world, and we're going to get back and get stronger. Thank you very much. He's always a good fighter, so what, what Munguia did against the current face of boxing was uh, was nothing to, to be ashamed of. You got to add up to Munguia, you know, just keep, keep on coming forward Absolutely. after that knockdown, no, right? He, he wanted to give the fight fans a great show. What do you want to see him do next? Uh, we'll go back to the drawing board, and then we'll figure it out. Oscar's but he'll be back. He'll be back. Better than ever. Does that Canelo beat David? He'll be back. Interesting. He'll be back. Sí, sí, yo, 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 lo, yo la promuevo. 
Hey, hey, Oscar, does that Canelo, yeah, should, should, does that Canelo beat David? That version of Canelo beat David? <laughs>